Hello everybody, today I am at the Detroit Auto Show taking a look at this 2024 Chevy Trailblazer Active All-Wheel Drive. This is a very sporty looking small SUV. I just did a video on the Trailblazer RS All-Wheel Drive and I was very surprised with how much room you not only get in the front seats, but the back seats as well as the cargo area. So the Active is a little bit more um, kind of like the rugged feel in my opinion, the rugged look on the inside. The design scheme is very similar on the interior to like the ZR2s that are in the truck lineup. So starting off up front, you're gonna get the blazer style LED accent lights with your headlights underneath. Beautiful white metallic coat. I really hope that's coming through for you guys while on camera. Blacked out Chevy bow tie, carbon fiber-esque looking plastic bumper. Coming around to the passenger side, that plastic transitions into fender flares that then transition into a rocker panel applique. Living in Michigan, I love this because being on dirt roads, uh, this protects the most vulnerable area of the vehicle against rock chips. Looking at the wheel and tire setup, it looks like we have some hand-cooked tires and they look like Dana Pro AT2s. And the tire size looks like it's a, uh, if I can find it real quick, 225. 60R17. Cool black and machined 17 inch wheel. Color matched with gloss black mirror caps. I love the two tone on the A pillar right there. Blind spot monitoring, as you'd expect. It does have the passive entry system on the passenger and driver side door. So as long as you have the key fob on you, you can lock and unlock the vehicle from either the driver or passenger door. Gloss black roof rack up top. Coming around to the back, we have this real nice LED accent tail lamps with incandescent signals. Your active badge is gonna be on the passenger side and your Trailblazer all-wheel drive badging is gonna be on the driver's side. Blacked out bow tie is gonna be right there in the middle. And then your backup camera is actually gonna be right here above the license plate. Parking sensors are integrated into the upper portion of the bumper. And you have this really nice dark chrome accent with chrome exhaust tips. Coming around to the driver's side, we actually have some splash guards integrated into the fender flares. And then you have your cap fuel filler door right there. I'm gonna kind of meander around these guys real quick to get back to the front. Let's take a closer look now at the interior. So like I said, it reminds me of the ZR2 interior because it has this kind of gray material it's not quite a leather it's like a cloth on the trailblazer but it has this like neon or high-vis yellow stitching throughout right here we have all the window controls for the vehicle and then the mirror controls your lock and unlock buttons the trunk release button right here right over here we have the dimmer switch for the instrument cluster the rotary dial selector for the exterior lighting of the vehicle and then a nice storage compartment right here for a wallet or credit cards again real nice active trim in here fully digital instrument cluster i love the way the industry is moving on this that seamlessly transitions into the uh massive horizontal touchscreen display just like the um, electrified offerings from chevrolet coming back to the steering wheel we have a really nice soft leather wrap steering wheel with very mild bolsters at 10 and 2. on the left side we have all the buttons for the cruise control as well as your gap adjustment and then your heated steering wheel button blacked out bow tie in the middle control pad right here for the center lcd display and then we have your steering wheel mounted audio controls for your phone push button starts going to be right there massive horizontal touchscreen display it does have uh, apple carplay and android auto as well as you can control your climate through here they did disable these two for the show hazard light button is going to be underneath that dual zone climate control with heated captain's chairs Underneath that, you have a 12 volt outlet as well as a USB-C and USB outlet with a wireless charging mat. Right here, we have your automatic start stop off button. It is on by default. Lane keep assist button, traction control button, sport mode, and then all wheel drive button. Shifter with manual plus minus on the side. Two cup holders with a perfect cutout for the key fob. Electronic parking brake. Nice storage container there as well as a massive storage container here. Again, Love, love, love this color combo. Active is stitched into the headrests. 
Right up over here, you have a massive glove box for this size of vehicle. Coming up top to the vanity, it's gonna be LED lit for your passenger as well as your driver. Up top on the headliner, we have the master controls for the twin pane sunroof. Then we have the master controls for the incandescent dome map lights. You have your SOS button, your OnStar button, and then your auto dimming rear view mirror. Just like the Trailblazer RS, love the amount of space you get in here. Let's take a look now at the back so I can show you guys how much space you get back there. So I don't quite have the seat where it would be if I was sitting, but uh, I have a decent amount of leg room with it pushed back even more. Storage in the form of pouches behind both driver and passenger seats. Down here, it looks like you're gonna get a nice size storage bin, uh, spring-loaded, uh, 120 volt power outlet as well as a USB and USB type C outlet. This center seat does have a fold down armrest slash cup holder. And then because you have the twin pane sunroof, your headroom is sacrificed a little bit, but like I said, you still have a decent amount of room back here. All your grab handles, map lights, and hanger hooks are gonna be pushed to the outermost portion of the headliner. And you have a lot of space for this small of a vehicle. I really honestly can't get over the fact that they managed to make as much space in here as they did. Let's look at your cargo space now. All right, so to open the trunk on this vehicle, you're gonna come up under it to the right of the bow tie, push the button, and it should automatically open up for you. You are gonna have some storage underneath here with the donut spare on the right side. It's pretty cool how that stays open for you. You're also gonna have a storage pouch, or storage cubby, I should say, on the passenger and driver's side incandescent cargo lamp on the driver's side and then these seats do fold down giving you almost a load flat floor almost doubling your cargo space pretty nice when you're done come up to the driver's side button give it a push it'll flash at you beep at you and then it will automatically close all right so there you have it the 2024 chevy trailblazer active edition very very sporty little suv Again, I'm just kind of blown away with how much room I have in this vehicle for how small it is. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving me a like and share. If you want to keep up to date with auto show content and future vehicle walkthroughs, be sure to subscribe to the channel and head over to Twitter or X and give me a follow there as I will be posting all of my content exclusively on that platform first. And also if you'd be as so kind to check out all of my affiliate links in the description below as it does greatly help out the channel. Like always, thanks for watching and have a great day.